One other point, uh, Taylor J. Adams. I'll answer your question about uh, whether about how um, about uh, the you asked for an argument as well about uh, whether or not about um, about uh, about why we couldn't know whether or not there is a god. Well, again, as I said, I don't think that uh, the knowledge about whether or not there is a god is unknowable at the uh, not um, forever, but I just don't think that we can know at the present time. And there's one very simple argument as to why. Most of the scientific evidence uh, for both the uh, for both the existence, of both sides of the argument, uh, theists and atheists, I've uh, I've seen uh, going over debates, both the creationist atheists and uh, for creationists versus atheists, and um, moderate theists versus atheists, uh, often use uh, very similar arguments, uh, and then, and both of them are claiming that the scientific the exact same scientific data supports their side. The typical argument from a creationist or even from a moderate is there is so much complexity and awe and wonder in our universe that something that something uh, you know th th there seems to be a pattern of design or a pattern of uh, of order to it and therefore some sort of supreme being at the very least had to start it if not created outright. Uh, bullet uh, moderate theists versus uh, uh, versus uh, versus creationists tend to uh, tend to of course. Uh, um, differ in uh, how far the creation went, i.e., did they just start the universe and allow evolution, or did they literally create all life? But that's pretty much the spectrum of the uh, theistic argument generally tends to be uh, in terms of scientific evidence. The atheists, however, say that we already know so much about uh, various different things that therefore there is no god. Uh, that therefore there, um, you know, that a god is highly unlikely as there is one is needless, and so therefore you know we can assume that there isn't one. Um, but on the other hand, if both groups are claiming that the uh, are both if both groups are claiming that the uh, that the, the how much we understand uh, um, makes a god unnecessary, or that there that uh, or that the uh, all the stuff that we're understanding makes a god necessary, then you know if, if both groups are using the exact same scientific evidence to back up their point, then we don't have enough evidence one way or the other to properly know. Now, do we? Hence, it's 50-50. Is because the exact same evidence evens the scale. In uh, you know, evens the scale in terms of arguments. So until we can, you know, until some new data comes in to tip the scale in one way or the other, I can't make a decision, and I can't form, uh, I can't decide whether I disbelieve in a god or believe in a god. Um, I would have to say that I have to reserve judgment on the issue until all the data is in. Um, I hope that explains my position. I hope that explains my position. Is that we constantly keep getting new data in? Uh, or you know, but but it always ends up seeming to even out. Now, at least you know, as far as we've been able to hit so far, it's evened out. Now, on the other hand, if we're able to get something that uh, that would actually um, you know give us a, a real punch in terms of evidence, you know, one way or the uh, you know that would that would really demonstrate it one way or the other, uh, you know, uh, the, the 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 lack of necessity for a god or the necessity of a god, uh, you know, in whatever form. Um, then I would actually pick whatever tradition that happened to be, and if uh, and the reason I specifically said for theists that they have to show that not only is it necessary for a creator but for a creator of their own standpoint, is that I'm allowing every religion or theistic tradition to um, say not only is it science, is it necessary or statistically more likely that there is a god, it is more like there is here is evidence that it is our god or our interpretation, uh, you know, uh, like God exists and God is this. You know, God exists and God is, you know, the, the theists in a particular tradition have two claims they're trying to prove. They have um, God exists and God is, you know, and, and God has the following attributes. They're trying to prove two claims. Atheists are only trying to prove one. But the one that atheists are trying to prove is, uh, you know, uh, atheists are only trying to prove one. The problem is, though, is that neither of them, uh, is that neither group has enough evidence to back up either of, uh, of their claim sets. You know, the atheists to back up their first one. Or the um, uh, you know that that that, god, that a god is not necessary, uh, or, or or highly unlikely, or uh, the theist that the god that a god is necessary or likely and has the following attributes. You know, without the evidence on either side, I can't make a decision one way or the other. And uh, you know, I I base I am an empiricist uh, first and foremost. I base my beliefs based on what data I can get my hands on. You know. Um, based on where the uh, all the evidence is pointing right now, I believe in the laws of gravity. Based on where the evidence is pointing, I believe in the theory of relativity. I, I work. Uh, I believe in electromagnetic fields based on the indirect evidence that seems to cumulatively indicate that they happen to exist. Uh, I believe in the uh, electromagnetic force. Uh, I believe in the electromagnetic force and uh, various 
spectra of light beyond the visible range because there appear to be indications of their after effects. There appear to be, uh, you know, repeatable, there seems to be repeatable and accumulative evidence which indicates their existence. So, you know, I... I have, uh, I believe in stuff based on, I believe in stuff based on evidence. It's not a matter of knowing. Everything is a matter of probability. But I make my belief based on uh, assessment of probability and statistics. And without sufficient data to calculate those statistics, I can't make a belief or a lack thereof. I can't determine, uh, you know, hence why I say the, the group is 50-50. Um, uh, either the computer system or the, uh, you know, either the computer simulation uh, or the, uh, uh, you know, uh, either the computer simulation uh, th uh, suggestion or the M theory suggestion are good mathematical extrapolations. But the problem with both of them is that again they're both untested right now. Um, you know, both the theories are currently untested. Uh, I just read in Scientific American that they've actually had a, a leak in the um, they had a leak with the Large Hadron Collider. One of their helium tanks went bust, so they're going to be shut down for another two months. So M theory has another two months at least before they're even going to be able to start testing. As to whether or not it, as to whether or not it works, so it, it still stays in the realm of possibility. Just but you know, without any evidence, uh, it it becomes a a fifty fifty. Uh, it in its own right becomes a fifty fifty because there there's no evidence going into it. It's just a mathematical extrapolation uh, without any predictions tested. So the same goes for the computer simulation analogy. You know, they're they're looking based on rates that you know it might be that way, but there might be other variables that come in which uh, which hamper computer uh, um, that we uh, which hamper our computer processing speed development. Uh, for example, uh, Moore's law might collapse, or worse yet, we might go extinct. Uh, you know, there there could be a million number of things that we don't know about it yet. So, you know, with this being said, there is you know these are extrapolations, but there's no data to put into them to assess their validity or lack thereof at the present time. So they hang in the balance. They hang kind of in limbo right now. And until such time as, you know, evidence happens to drop around on one of these guys, I don't think we can know. I think that we can know once evidence does show itself. I mean, I think we can eventually ob obtain the evidence, but I don't think there's enough evidence right now to assess um, statistically whether it is more likely or less likely that there is a god uh, or whether a god is necessary or not necessary. And whether or not, uh, and if a god does, uh, you know, if a god is more likely to exist, what are those attributes? You know, there's no data to assess with, or how should we say this, equal amounts of data for both sides of the argument. So until such time as that data comes, uh, you know, until such time as, as, as um, larger amounts of data come in on one side or the other, I believe that, uh, I am of the opinion that we cannot form a belief about the system and that, uh, I believe that we cannot form a, a belief rationally uh, or a disbelief ra uh, you know, on, on either side of this rationally. I, I don't think that we can rationally say one way or the other, um, even in terms of assessment of probability. And I don't think that um, it would be, uh, I don't think that, well, that's basically it. I think that we, that a true, I think that one at the present time should remain a true agnostic until new data comes in. Um, I don't think we can assess the models. I don't think we, uh, with the newer models, I don't think... Uh, we have the data at present to be able to do so. At least not that I've seen. Now, if you happen to know some new evidence, which would actually be able to, uh, if you happen to know some evidence, which might be able to help uh, uh, assess it or form a belief, or, or, or um, you know, which could show that one, uh, that atheism or theism, uh, one of the two is more rational, then by all means, give it to me. I would be, I would be more than, uh, you know, I'd be more than happy to take it. But at present, I have not seen enough evidence from one side or the other to be able to uh, uh, make an assessment. It's like a jury. Uh, if you're a critical thinker, or if you're doing this right, you walk in on a jury, you remain unbiased. Uh, you walk into a criminal trial, and both sides present their evidence. But you don't make a decision as to whether the person's guilty or innocent beforehand, because there's not enough evidence to make that assessment. But uh, uh, guilty or not guilty. But then on the other hand, when the evidence is presented, then you can say, okay, this person is guilty or not guilty. That would be the correct way of going about it. Anyway, that's the, that's the analogy. Uh, anyway, that's the idea. Um, I hope this answers your questions as well. I hope that answers the other part of your questions. Um, yeah, this in conjunction with my other video response are my answers to your video, and I uh, hope that clarifies my position fairly well. Um, now, if you have to have any, ev any evidence in one way or another, or can point another flaw in my logic, uh, then please, by all means, do so. Maybe I am off here. Um, yeah, that's it. Toodles.